to prove to you that the white man that's in Israel is not the real Jews, and the real Jews is us. You that's understand? Right. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. Watch this. I know thy works uh -huh. and tribulation. So Christ is talking to the Jews. He said, I know thy works and tribulation, meaning the trials and tribulation, the hard time you're going through in life right now. Read. In poverty. Read. But thou art rich. Are we not in poverty? We're in poverty. He said, I know your poverty. He said, but we are rich. Why? Because the, the laws, statutes, and commandments was given to us. We the Israelites. All the promises in this Bible belong to us. Hey, brother, we trying to come up with some solutions to fix our community. Do you have any? Come over here and build with your brothers. Give me uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 22. Isaiah chapter, matter of fact, start at verse 8. This is the problem with our people and why guns is being pushed in our community, drugs is being pushed in our community, gangs, okay, women twerking on cars. Come over here, young brother. This is why we're going through the hell we're going through today. Read the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 8. Now, go, write it before them in a table, uh -huh. and note it in a book, Come on. that it may be for the time to come forever and ever. Hey, sister in the purple, listen to this. Watch what God said. That this is a rebellious people. God said that we, the Israelites, are a rebellious people, sister. We don't want to do nothing the Bible says. That's hey, right. sis, did you know according to the Bible you're an Israelite? You're not black? You're not African-American? Right. Did you know that God say that we are the greatest people on the face of the planet? Did you know that? Hey, sis, when you come out the store, come over here and build with us, okay? I want to show you some stuff. How you doing, young brother? So do you know who you are according to the Bible? You're a black man. According to the Bible, what do God, you believe in the Bible, right? You raised in church. Did they tell you what your nationality was in church? So they, told, they, they allowed you to walk, if they don't tell you the truth, then they lie to you. You understand? So they allowed you to walk around, how old are you? You 16. They allowed you for 16 years to walk around and believe that you're a black man. Look at your pants. What color your pants is? Huh? What color is your, now put your arm to your pants. What's, what color is that? You brown. So are you black or are you brown? Which one are you? You're a brown skin man. So wait a minute. You said, give me Isaiah 1 and 3. You said that you're a black man at first, right? So bam, just brought that out to you. You're not black, right? We so-called black, meaning that was something that they told us in slavery. Right. According to the Bible, you're an Israelite, bro. From the tribe, what your daddy is, so-called African-American, he'll be a black man, right? From the tribe of Judah. Hey, bro, did you know according to the Bible, that we the Israelites, that we are the real Jews, Correct. that the white man over there that's claiming to be a Jew is not the real Jew? No. Did you know that? Yeah. He said, really. Let's get that. Give me that, uh, what's the name, uh, uh, Revelations. You know what I want. You, you know that, right? How you learn that? From your grandfather? He taught you. So, he an Israelite. So, what, do you, you know you're an Israelite. So, do you know that it's things that God want us to do as the Israelites? When we know we're the Israelites, what comes with that? Change. A whole 360. You got to change your whole life. You understand what I'm saying? So there's some things that you don't know. I can tell. I want to teach you. Hold on. Wait, wait. I'm going to show you. Because you said, really? I'm going to show you something. I'm trying to bring him into the conversation. I'm going to prove to you that the white man that's in Israel is not the real Jews. And the real Jews is us. You that's understand? Right. Watch this. The book of Revelation. Chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works and tribulation. So Christ is talking to the Jews. He said, I know thy works and tribulation, meaning the trials and tribulation, the hard time you're going through in life right now. Read. In poverty. Read. But thou art rich. Are we not in poverty? Yep. We're in poverty. He said, I know your poverty. He said, but we are rich. Why? Because the, the laws, statutes, and commandments was given to us. We the Israelites. All the promises in this Bible belong to us. Y'all understand? Mm -hmm. That's why he said we're rich, because we're going to rule this earth when Christ returns. Did you know he was a black man? But did you know he was a black man? Yeah, I 
You figured he was. Okay, watch this. And I know the blasphemy, blasphemy means bold faced lie of them which say they are Jews. Of them which say they are Jews and are not. And are what? And are not. So what people are claiming to be Jews today? White people, what did Christ just say? They're not the Jews. Give me chapter 3, verse 9. We're going to read it again. Hey, brother, Christ said that those people, come here, brother, look, hold on. Those people that's claiming to be Jews are not the real Jews. Because I'm going to show you what color the real Jews are. Watch this. The book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. Them of the synagogue of Satan, meaning they worship the devil, which say they are Jews. Which what? Which say they are Jews. Which what? Which say they are Jews. Which say they are Jews in or not. In or what? In or not. But what? But do lie. But what? But do lie. You heard what God said? The Bible says that those that's claiming to be Jews are not the Jews, but they do lie. Now, give me that scripture in Jeremiah 14. Now, let's see what color are the real Jews. Please. What color are the real Jews? And then I want to get into this, the, the evil that's taking place in our community. Hey, sis, in the purple. Come on now, sis. Couple minutes. That's all I need. Watch this. Watch this. This is the last one. This is the last scripture for you, bro. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judas mourning uh -huh. in the gates thereof language. The Bible says the Jews are in mourning in the gates there are language. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black uh -huh. unto the ground. Blew your mind. You ain't know that the Jews was black. Hey, look, bro, it's a lot that you don't know. That's just a small little portion. Right. You understand what I'm saying? I want you to, hey, bro. Okay, now, give me uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because you say you know you're an Israelite, right? Your granddaddy taught you from a child. So now it's things that God wants us to do as a people. How do we fix this in our community? I'm going to show it to you. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? So God requires something of you. It says, Israel, what doeth the, what doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? Meaning of you. But to fear the Lord thy God. To walk in all his way. When it says fear God, you won't be disobedient towards what he tells you to do. You understand? Walk in all his ways, meaning everything that God tells us to do and not to do in this Bible. Come on. And to love him uh -huh. and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. I mean, you got to put all your might into doing what this Bible says. You got to fight to keep the commandments. Come on. To keep. The commandments of the Lord. That's what God requires for us to do as a people. You understand? You got to keep God's commandments. That's the solution to the evil that's taking place in our community. Give me Proverbs 7 and 2. Now, I'm going to show you uh, some things that we need to do. Let me ask you a question. You married? You got kids? How many kids you got? You don't mind. Six? Six by what? A couple baby mamas? Huh? Three baby mamas. You, you you ain't married to them, one of them. You with any one of them? You with one of them. Okay. So you're dealing with the sister, right? You're having sex with her. What do you think God wants us to do when it comes to dealing with our women? Huh? So why, what's, what's going on with you? I haven't got myself together. Right. Okay, okay. That's cool. So look, guess what? You can come up there to the school and build with us. I started off the same way. I wasn't married when I first came into this thing. I learned and I got married. I started to take the steps to keep the commandments. You understand? Watch this. Proverbs 7 and 2. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. Read it, read it again. Read it out. Keep my commandments and live. You heard what God says? He says, keep my commandments and live. Believe it or not, well, our people that's walking around here breaking the commandments, that ain't doing what this Bible say, they're not living. Believe it or not, they're spiritually dead. You know how you, you see the movie, The Walking Dead? That's our people. When they go away from this Bible, with, with, away from doing what the Bible says, they are spiritually dead. Give me Hebrews 13. So now, in order for us to live as a people, God told us to keep his commandments. Right? I'm going to read this commandment to you. Now, you got, you got what? 
about three boys, three girls, or you got any girls? Three and three. Huh? Three and three. Okay, how would you want a man to deal with your daughter? This is how we got to think as a people when it comes to dealing with our sisters. Yeah, I understand that. You understand where I'm coming from, right? You don't want a brother to take your sister and deal right with her, right? You don't want nobody to take your daughter and say, man, look at Shorty, man. I'm going to take Shorty down, put one in her, and dip on her. Right. Do brothers not do that in the community? I'm going to hit it and quit it. Get the sister pregnant, not a sister raising children by herself. And a woman cannot raise these kids by herself, especially these boys. That's why a lot of our men running up and down the block selling drugs, shooting, they, they emotional because they grew up around their mother all their life. And they don't know how to deal with manly issues except pull a gun on a brother and kill him. Say something crazy to him, they bust on him. That ain't a manly issue. Right. Say it again. So they don't know how to deal with they don't know how to deal with manly issues. You understand what I'm saying? Watch this. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Meaning they don't know how to deal with manly issues unless they use violence. That's the only way they know how to solve things. But because they haven't learned the word of God. Read. Marriage is honorable in all. Because I always read this scripture right here. Every, a lot of times I teach. The reason why we're going through a lot of things we're going through is because of broken homes. Broken homes. No father, no mother in the house together to raise them kids. And these young women having kids, they still kids. They still want to go out and party. They drop the baby off the grandma. You understand what I'm saying? Or leave the damn baby in the house by themselves. Or leave the baby in the car and the damn car catch on fire while they're in the store stealing. Right. You see that on the news? This is the things we're going through as a Two babies. Bring it out. Car caught fire while the mother in the stove stealing because she ain't learned God's commandments where the Bible says, Thou shalt not steal. Judgment came quickly. And we hate that that happened to our people. How you doing, bro? Hey, we talking about solutions. You got any? I ain't got How we going to fix our community? I'm going to fix the I ain't going to talk. I ain't got my book. So y'all brothers do y'all thing. Bro. All right, read. Marriage is honorable in all. And the bad undefiled. So this one thing you got to learn, bro. God says he honor marriage. You understand? And the, when he says the bad is undefiled, meaning if you're married, you and your wife can have sex. That's when you have sex. That's when you deal with a woman sexually. And you got to deal with her according to the laws. Which is, There's laws written in the Bible on how long you're supposed to stay away from your wife when she have a baby. And how long you're supposed to stay away from your wife after she come off her menstrual cycle. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 